Hello again, my name is Brian Lettner, and this is part three of Sets of Parallel Lines. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to cover as many of these places as we can in this video. Just hop over to Google Earth and check out these places. So first up, this example in Maine, and then look at this area real quick. And let's do that. Okay, so Maine up here and it is somewhere right up here so wherever this is uh i, I already gave this area a pretty good going over but parallel shizzle and this is that still image parallel grooves quick look back in time and we see 1998 looking roughly the same Similar grooves, uh, straight lines, yada, yada, yada. So it's especially stuff like this, and then even fine parallel things like this and that, uh, I think are not to be ignored. Like you see a faint indication of something there. And um, the parallelness just indicates that it's artificial. It doesn't necessarily mean, obviously, that it's part of this weird terraforming deal that I'm throwing out there, but uh, it's just one phenomenon to observe. Uh, this curve here, strange, this as well, and even like stuff like that, 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 just little faint parallel digits. Diglets, uh, ditchlets, um, lines, you know what I mean? Okay, uh, even here you see kind of like faint stuff, faint parallel, dirt, dirt, dirt. Let me see if we can get a better look in a previous picture. Not really. Okay, not really appearing to change. Uh, see, here's more parallel stuff. And similar stuff there. Okay, enough of that. Uh, some nearby places we see similar stuff, like right down here. Uh, tool marks may not be quite the right word, but you get the picture, just parallel lines, grooves across the way. And for some of these, it, you could make the case that it's like drainage from this housing area, like this one, just because it's in the vicinity of these houses, like these two. Um, you could make a good case for that. Um, but like these ones, eh. Erosion control, maybe. I don't know. Uh, going across here, faintly. Uh, quick look back. 1998, looking roughly the same. And we see the lines over here as well. And right here, right there. Here, here. Just lines, lines, lines. Even potential like little faint short ones here. Little remnants of what may have been longer lines at some point. Here, here, here. Okay, and other places nearby, we've got parallel grooves, whole area marked up, and again, same thing, we've got this, these fine grooves here, covering basically, well, it's not covering the whole area, but it's present uh, in many places in this area. Like here we see these angular things and these uh, linear offshoots, fine, just fine linear tidbits. Since that one goes all the way to the house, you like if you considered this in isolation, you could say it's drainage or something like that. But when viewed in context of all these other ones, like this, this even, this even 
Um, I don't know if that holds up anymore, the drainage thing. Erosion control, maybe. Shit. But, I mean, I've already pretty much stated my opinions on the matter. So, just giving you a view of linesy linesies. Okay, and a little bit more down here. We have stuff like this, a little more subtle, but like this is parallel to this. And then we even have like this angular hole here and plenty of um, linear thingamajigs, possible parallel things here. And just more of the same, basically. Okay, and then I wanted to show um, Long Island as well in New York, just to show that it's uh, kind of all the way down the coast here. And before I do that, I wanted to actually backtrack for a second. Uh, this one in Maine, um, parallel groups, whole area marked up. So this kind of look here, these fine, uh, well-defined grooves, parallel. This reminds me quite a bit of the ones we were looking at in the last video in Ireland. So let's hop over to Ireland real quick and check those out. So the south tip of Ireland, or towards it, we have these right here. So these, these lines are looking very similar to those lines in... Um, Maine in the US and these are inland these aren't coastal so I don't know if you can make a good case that these are for irrigation or anything or drainage control or anything like that it's um, I think it's just working over of the land in a particular style so fine parallel lines here and then let's shoot back to uh, main and look at those examples one more time. Um, so yeah, these pretty similar, I think. The fine straight So, I don't know. What do you think? Okay, is this still Maine? This is like New Hampshire, I guess, whatever. But yeah, more of it. Wow, geez. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Um, so, parallel lines, quite a few of them. Can we agree on that? Quick look back in history. 2018, 1992, looking pretty similar. Um, and 1992 looks basically the same as today for what it's worth. It's not a definitive indication of its age, but it just gives us some info. So lots of sets of parallel lines. Q sound effect. Parallel lines themed sound effect. I don't think I'm going to get around to that, actually. But, yeah, lots of these. So this is New Hampshire, I believe. And then, once more for reference, here's Long Island. These islands, pretty similar deal. And I think 1994 is the earliest look we get here. So, yeah, let's do that. And looking basically the same since then, at least. And yeah, just the whole, this whole coastal area here is linesy. Modern work, maybe, but somehow I am doubting it quite a bit. All right, and there's plenty more places we could look at, like, what is this, Delaware now or something? 
just more of it and uh, or New Jersey or wherever um, more down here we're seeing it see like right here I don't think we see it so it's not absolutely everywhere but it's in many places all right um oh yeah Tuckahoe sorry Tuckahoe So this area, this wildlife management area in New Jersey here, um, just a vast area of these lines. This is what I had a still image of, and you get a clearer look in the older photo. Uh, 1991. So there you go. Just a nice look at these parallel lines, this direction, this direction, this direction, kind of haphazard, modern work, maybe, conventional purposes, maybe, resurfacing, re-terraforming for uh, Earth games purposes, that sounds likely as well, the conspiracy angle, so there's this to consider. And it goes pretty far inland as well, if I remember correctly. Got plenty more parallel lines. Yippee dippy. Okay. Only so much of that you really need to see. Um, so I'll show you more. Sound good? <laughs> uh, down here, what country is this? I mean, whatever state is above Florida. Georgia or something? South Carolina? I don't know. Georgia. Uh, we have lines here. Um, parallel lines in this area. Yeah, I think this is the example I wanted to show. Uh, these right here. These parallel ticky marks. This way as well. And perhaps even on the coast here. That's a maybe. Those could be natural. But certainly this type of stuff is uh, strange. And then down into Florida as well. We have plenty of that stuff. Uh, where like... Over here. Give me a moment. I don't think I did my prep work in Florida. More parallel channels. I think this is South Carolina, or I mean Georgia still. Uh, okay, well, there's some of this stuff in Florida. Oh, there we go. Like this, we've seen many parallel lines. Dur -dur -dur. And more just down the way here. Linear bits. Yep, like this. Ch -ch -ch. And plenty of stuff in between. Okay, so that'll do it for the east coast of the U.S. and those parallel lines. So let's move on from these. Now let's check out this place in Russia. And then we will hop over to Bolivia and look at some similar styled parallel lines in Bolivia. And also these wavy dots in Bolivia. So, Russia it is. Uh, Krasnaya Imalka. All 
right, so here's this little town, and then uh, this parallel line Z area. Old patchy. Wouldn't surprise me if a whole bunch of this patterning is modern. These I could go either way on. Uh, whole area patchy, scraped up. Scraped may not be the word, but worked over is kind of what I'm going for. And we also have these, uh, let's see, bumps and shapes. So we have these mounds and I don't know whether these are like earthworks or just like piles of dirt, you know, like from earth movers and tractors and stuff, but it's something, uh, more of it here and little isolated ones strewn about whatever that is and parallel lines on multiple scales like uh, large scale and then like you see this across the whole landscape kind of am I making that up I don't think so pretty clearly there let's do a quick look back in the historical photos and check this out. So in 2012, we still see the, the parallel grooves kind of lining the area. See this? And that's not to say there's not modern activity in the area, but uh, I would argue that there's large scale strange activity in the area as well, including these parallel streaks like this. Kind of goofy. Okay, what else? Just going over the uh, place marks I have in the area. Trying to be as time efficient as possible for you. Or as I can manage. I'm sure someone else could manage to make shorter videos, but I'm just doing what I do. So these, that's a tough call. That's a really tough call. These like lines of trees. Hmm. I could see that being either farming or this weirdness. That's a tough call. All we got is 2004. So who knows? Anything else jumping out at me? Like kind of lines and tick marky stuff. Let me just hit these place marks. So hopefully you're getting a sense of the scale of it. Let's see, what's, what's this area measure like? 125 miles, and that's just part of it. But yeah, this, this whole area is marked up with uh, patchy, or patches of parallel lines like this, certainly. Not to mention all the little tiny lakes, which may be a part of it somehow. Kind of see faint indications of the parallelness there. Some images just have contrast that's not very good or it doesn't reveal much detail here almost looking like uh, the warped kind of mature look in Ireland somewhat now these parallel lines I thought that was an image glitch for a second 
That could be any number of things, including a fence or a wall. Uh, whatever. It's something, or maybe it's nothing. Uh, let's see. I was looking at this guy. Maybe this, this, this. That's looking a little more natural, though. Okay. Uh, any other place marks I want to point out before I move on? Mm. Mm. So see, we have some, looks like industrial, or at least farming, like uh, some type of activity in the area. So who knows how much of all this they're responsible for. Maybe all of it, yeah. Um, bumpiness. I think I wanted to point this out. Not a great coloration there. How about over here? Bumpy area. So, the, yeah, these kind of lumpy mounds that we've kind of seen near the San Andreas area, maybe in Southern Africa as well. Also with this kind of pockmarked horseshoe look to it almost. So that may be some aspect of this. And see the faint parallel lines going this way, this way, this way. All right, squiggles. I don't see it. I do see some parallel stuff there though. Okay, whatever. More random bumps and shapes. Okay, pretty cool. Whatever that is, could be some type of earthworks or more gibberish patterns or remnants of some type of terraforming thing. So is it is it these people making stuff? That's possible, certainly. Yeah, might be their work. Ditches or mounds, something like that. Okay. Uh, more bumpies. Probably modern. Okay, so that's enough for this area. Uh, just to, to recap, uh, the parallel lines I'm referring to is like this and this and, and these fine ones. And yeah. So we may be looking at something weird. So let's go over to Bolivia and check out some of those real quick let's just revisit the images so bolivia these parallel lines stuff like this and then these as well we will check out So here we are in Bolivia, and it's just north of Lake Pupo or whatever, and it's this pretty vast area that's affected. We have these little squares, and then we also have the parallel lines, and we also have these circular holes with the four uh, mounds around it. That's There's hundreds maybe thousands of these little holes, circular holes. Let me just measure one real quick. Feet. So I think that's a little too wide to be an oil drilling hole in my, like I was looking at pictures of oil drills and they look like they're about 10 feet wide at the, at the widest. So 
here's another one of those holes. Parallel lines everywhere. Pretty sure I've given you a pretty thorough tour of this area already. Here's another circle with many more mounds around it. <laughs> Probably about 75 feet as well, I'm guessing. Okay, 63 feet. And then, yeah, these. So, pattern soup is my contention. Here's one that's partial. See? So, it's not as if these ones eroded away, I think. Like, these mounds right here, which would have been here. It's, I think it's just variations per an algor algorithm. Even like this, maybe. This, this even. And the parallel lines. Let's do a quick look back in history. See if any of these are new. Doesn't look like it. 2012 is as far back as, as it goes though, so that doesn't tell us a whole lot. So these circles and squares keep catching my eye. Just pattern soup again. The, the barf, the vomit of an algorithm, I think. Algorithmic vomit, pattern vomit. Pattern puke. So, plenty of circles, plenty of parallel lines in the area. And there they are. <laughs> and we could go on and on. It's a pretty vast area that we see this, like way up here. See, see all this? Pretty heavy. It's like almost almost not a square inch of land is untouched by this sheer um, or by the scope of this project and here we see the the squares and rectangles and uh, what you call it polygons whatever this I could see being either modern or this old terraforming thing. Um, I mean, way up here, we seeing more of it. Yeah, we got this. Let's do a quick look back in time. See if any of it's new. 1969 doesn't tell us much. Too blurry. Uh, 2010 is all we get. And, oh, hang on. So it looks like these ones right here appear since 2010 so let's try and suss that out so there we go 2012 to 2010 they show up a fresh set of parallel lines so again the the ongoing hypothesis that it's the tooling of earth hasn't ended yet and it's um, it's a work in progress, so that, that might explain why we're seeing new lines popping up, or it might be modern conventional stuff. So like here, we see lines already present, but then they seem to, okay, yeah, they're, these, these are like new lines, and then we do have older lines underneath, so it could be some type of agricultural thing or mining thing or any number of things. Uh, we do have this, whatever that is. And way up here, what do we have? More lines. Are they new? They almost look like they're there in 1969, but it's too hard to tell. They're, it's all there in 2010. Not directly or immediately seeing any changes since 2010. So, it tells us not a whole lot, but something. So these, judging by the look of it, I'm guessing might be recent. 
No. Okay. Tough to say. And I mean, what is this? Stone circles or something? Like we see in Af Africa? Parallel lines. All right. So let's let's measure that real quick. So from way up here to like down here. Okay, over 100 miles, 150 miles, and it's really more like this, all the way up into Peru as well. So it's thousands of square miles or even tens of thousands of square miles. And let's see, I wanted to show um, these wavy dots. Let's see. This isn't it, but here's a good look at the boxy weirdness covering the hillside or the angular patchy weirdness just a reminder that all this is there and these potentially phony ridges and stuff like that okay but i was looking for these uh okay let me search it Okay, so it's up here. So zoom out to let you know where we are. So there's Lake Titicaca up here. Lake Titicaca up here. Lake Pupo down here. And in uh, this is like right here, this dotty lines part, some some ways south of Lake Titicaca. So. First of all, there's this patchy pattern in the whole area and this scalloped um, angular mountain sides. And we have like, again, tens of thousands of square miles of that type of thing, just everywhere or uh, fairly ubiquitous and dots very similar to Jordan. Um, crap, should I hop over there real quick? Um, I don't know, but we have these dots in the segmented land, patchy, patchy, patchy. Okay. So there's that. And then what's this scrape marks. So these parallel lines with these dots going as part of this pattern soup in my opinion. So we have like circular or semi-circular, um, quasi-circular uh, plots or segments or uh, borders here, shapes. And then we have more angular ones and it's, there's no real rhyme or reason to it. That's why I kind of call it um, pattern vomit or pattern soup. And then the still image I had was up here. So we have these just chilling up in this ridge in between these uh, mountain ridges here. We have this area here, which is wavy lines here as well. And I would say this is not natural. Can we agree on that? And looking angular here. Here as well, we have a little snippet of it. Let's do a brief look back in history. 1969, not too informative, too blurry. Two thousand eleven. Uh, well, whatever year this is, two thousand eleven, two thousand nine. What well, is not there? For real? Hang on a second. Okay, so what, the dots are new? Okay, that may be true. Hmm, okay, let's look at these ones. So 2015, 2009, don't really see them. 2017, 2015, we do see something. 
and then 2017 we don't see any dotty patterns so that's interesting it, it like shows up and then it's not there anymore um, so what might cause that how about right here I'm thinking that they might be like plants actually so this is like a seasonal seasonal agriculture thing it's possible so perhaps this example is a dud although I will argue that the um, scalloped look to the landscape is not a dud like this type of look like this these segmentations seem to still be there in 2009 almost looking fresh in 2009 so that does make me wonder whether they're somewhat recent okay dirt to dirt these wavy lines up here let's check this out yeah I'm, I'm thinking this may be some type of agriculture now yeah, so they're not there in 2011 or 2009 and then they are there in 2017 okie doke and same with these like up here these show up in uh, 2017 so these may in fact not be a strong example so yeah we have all the tire tracks 2015 and then boom they show up in 2017 so either ongoing terraforming weirdness or just modern conventional stuff so neither would surprise me let's say that so lines of dots let's check out these mm. yeah it doesn't yeah they're they're new so they show up in 2015 and yeah same with these three lines show up in 2017 i guess okay loser loser chicken doozer <laughs> um, I apologize for not uh, doing a little more research beforehand just trying to keep the speed up at some sacrifice to the research quality looking at these segmented areas here who knows okay and obviously a whole bunch of stuff in this general area okay weird patterning yeah the kind of goofy patterns up the hillsides like this business I guess you could consider this sets of parallel lines, wavy parallel lines, if you wanted to. Historical photo. 2012, still there. No changes. Whatevs. Okay, I think that might be enough for Bolivia. So yeah, we check that out. South Africa we we already looked at this area in pretty uh, extensive detail in a previous video I can't remember which um, but this time I just want to take a quick look and not look at the not focus on the spirals and squiggles but more on the the parallel lines in the surrounding area so we will do that as briefly as I can manage go so we are over here in South Africa wherever this is and one second taking a drink of water
So one thing we have is these long straight dark lines. So like these two fairly parallel lines on a large scale, whatever that is. These long, could just be a tractor cruising along in a straight line, something like that, you know, plausible. Kind of scarring the landscape. Pretty interesting. Continuing. And very many of those. So here's another dirt. And continuing like this. Dirt, dirt, dirt. So I would say not a road. Maybe a pipeline. Maybe a fence. Although it doesn't quite look like a fence. Um, maybe a vehicle path, like a modern vehicle. There's another, perhaps. But it's, it's noteworthy, for sure. And then, obviously, all this business here, which is modern, but may or may not be part of the strangeness deal. And then the parallel lines, obviously these, and then this here, these ones, psh, 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 these, stuff like this, looking a lot like the Machair in Scotland. I, I don't know why that word always trips me up, Machair. I have to like stretch my face out and enunciate to, to get it out. Um, so I'm trying to figure out when these show up. They look pretty crisp in 2011, so that is noteworthy, I would say. Um, pretty fresh. And now they're a little duller. 2006, can't make much of it. So they may be relatively recent. Certainly possible. I just want to show you that they're there, whatever they are. So this, 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 and let me go back to that previous photo. Yeah, like maybe that one's good. This one, so lots of parallel lines, parallel lines here, whole area. And stuff like this, this, and this maybe mm, might be modern stuff. Tough to say, but much parallelness in the general area. Another short rectangular mini lake, parallel lines around. So there's a lot of these little rectangular troughs, whatever these are. Not quite sure. Yeah, we've got like a line and a line and some type of trough or whatever. And parallel lines in the area, pretty much everywhere. Same here, here, here. Uh, what about 2013, 2003? Doesn't look much different. So let's stick on this 2003 photo and just zoom around here and look at these parallel lines. Some business right here. Parallel, parallel. Farming, maybe some type of agriculture or mining. Quite possible. Get my place marks back on. Short gashes. So like this. Um, yeah, this stuff. This. Wavy lines, vast area. Let's check that out. Just 
parallel lines there, here as well. These wavy lines here, wavy parallel lines, tractor path or something like that, maybe. More wavy lines over here. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggly, squiggless, squigmund. See all this? It's like dashed lines of whatevers. Hmm. Interesting look to it. Definitely worth a look back in time. 2006 looks basically the same. All right. That's not super informative, though. And then we have these uh, more prominent, uh, par like, straight lines as well. Or more widely spaced, I guess. And the dashed aspect of it is pretty interesting. Again, maybe just more pattern soup. More of it here, here. This parallel lines, parallel lines. And I think that's enough for now. Okay, so lots of parallel lines and stuff. And while we're over here, um, I think up in Botswana we have uh, these large scale um, long streaks. So these guys, these parallel grooves or uh, scars on the landscape. And they're pretty pronounced. And they do have a kind of a natural look to them like some type of uh, uh, flood uh, washed over the area or something like that. Or it could be a, an artificial cataclysm of some weird form uh, washing over the area as well. Like these parallel dirt, dirt, dirt. Like, uh, see this? That might be a road actually, but so it's something, it's significant, whatever it is, it's uh, sizable. I'm trying to zoom in close on one of these and get a good feel for what it looks like up close. Not much to look at. I could I could imagine like a, a big laser beam comb or brush like just scraping over the area. <laughs> Like some type of weird high tech, something like that. Okay, uh, that's enough of that. What it was next? I think Russia was next. Yeah, parallel lines. We'll just take a brief look at this. Parallel lines, bumps, slash dots. Okay. I think I know where this one is by heart. I think it's up here. Yep, got it. So just above the border with China, in this river here, and we've got, well, first of all, these parallel lines through the trees, which may or may not be modern things. Looks like it might be. Um, and then these 
I got a lot of thingamajigs. So this, yeah, I don't know what this is. Could be anything. It's grid of parallel lines. Okay. It's been there a while, whatever it is. Looks similar to something in um, Argentina, I think. Anyways, lots of parallel stuff to consider. Ch -ch -ch including these parallel arrays of dots and lines here. So quick look back in time. Appears to be there in 2004 without much change. It's hard to tell because it's snowy in this photo. 2010, we have the dots. And yeah, all the dots are there. It's just hard to make out because of the color. Dots are still there in, what, 2011. This image has better contrast. So maybe a fresh layer of dots was laid down. I mean, whatever the dot is, if it's just like dirt piles or something, that's possible maybe in like 2013, a fresh, number of them was laid down or maybe just the image contrast is better in recent years but we do see the dots still there as far back as we can look i think even here yeah this image we're still seeing them they're faint but they're there so yeah whatever those are Okay, so then we have like this somewhat regular linear thing here, possible parallel counterpart there, maybe even there, and maybe parallel stuff here. What was I seeing? Little circular things, maybe. So these fine parallel ridges or grooves, whatever it is, similar to stuff we've seen elsewhere, and I couldn't tell you what it is. Lines of trees, lines, lines. And maybe some some type of vehicle track here. Maybe it's a boat laying down these lines or a, an aquatic vehicle or a big industrial something or other or irrigation or aquaculture or whatever. Something like that. Could be. Or it's pattern soup strangeness. Okay, probably enough of that. You get the picture. And then also, as a reminder, there's plenty of um, cartoonish river stuff in this area. I think, like, yeah, like these, these angular ends. Just kind of a, sharp angular uh, shapes like here and here here kind of a cartoonish look to the whole area so that's what makes me call those parallel lines into question um, possible straight lines and weirdness anyways Let's move on to 
China. So we took a pretty heavy look at this area a couple videos back and we will take another brief look at the parallel lines aspect of it. So let's bounce over there. And it is over here in China. So he, uh, let's see, where is it? Large scale parallel streaks, scrapes. So there you have it. Parallel streaks on a large scale. Looking somewhat geological in nature. So perhaps some mineral structure or uh, folds or like um, rippling like seismic something or other or uh, like geological layers eroding away maybe this stuff might be modern stuff who knows But in some places, like it just looks a little like mechanical, like, like there, it's looking pretty clean. It's a tough call because I could see it being natural, certainly. So what are you saying? The whole mountains are fake? Um, kind of. <laughs> it's possible. And here's what I mean by like the ridges of material going around like looking like they're remnants of something which sculpted the landscape like like something went like just continuing this way and then maybe like here or something so it's something non-traditional doing that same thing here see like and s I would hmm I mean these are tire tracks so that should be noted I think the ridges look a little different than the, the tire tracks but like here's tire tracks and here's this ridge so I, I would say that's two different things. See this long ridge going through this uh, outcrop thing and like as a part of it almost like this linear aspect seems like it's a natural part of this uh, outcrop or an integrated part at least but it, it's looking fairly like it continues as a, a weird artificial ridge in my opinion. So it's like, it has aspects of both. It's both integrated into the allegedly natural rock here, and it's also um, manifesting as this artificial line along the same course, same path, like that. And then it continues and whatever, whatever. Uh, that's a little off topic, but yeah, there's the parallel lines and then there's more over here that we already glanced at in previous a previous video, but here it is actually here So this direction and this direction as well and This looks a little suspicious once again I'll just reiterate I could see it. I could um, wouldn't surprise me if it's natural and then wouldn't surprise me if it's artificial just looking for more of uh, more of it more examples of it but I think that's enough. And then here's more, I guess, in this direction, kind of a similar thing. Um, is This might just be sand flows. 
like from wind and whatever. So I th yeah, I think that's what that is. So dunes. But these are not dunes in my opinion. I think these are rocks, rocky areas. See these little, uh, could be some sand flows as well in between these rocky areas. Okay, uh, that's enough of that. I f wanted to say something I forgot. What's this, parallel lines over here? Interesting. So yeah, note of uh, modern work here. So it could be their activity. Who knows? And then okay, I think that's that. Let's go to the next area, Syria, Cameroon, just checking what all we have left. Um, you know, I think I will leave Syria, Cameroon, and Lucia, California for the next video, so tune in for that. All right, see ya.